Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another uh, demo of a hotel booking uh, hotel booking system and this is in Spring Boot and this is another Spring Boot project uh, from the technical side it's using Spring Boot, uh, Hibernate and JSP, CSS, HTML, HTML, CSS and Bootstrap to manage the front end and to manage the back end it's using uh, Java, uh, Java's framework like Spring Boot, Hibernate and JPA it's following embassy architecture and you can see the configuration controllers, the audit use, exception, form, services and util packages there, utility packages there to manage the backend. Uh, it's using MySQL database and we are operating it from uh, MySQL workbench and uh, here is the database for hotel booking, this one and here these are the tables and the user if i check the user table there are two types of role users one is a user mean customer can be a customer or uh, is a admin so let's run the application and check the demonstration how the features and functionality working in this project so i just right click on my runner file which is hotel booking application dot java go to run as run, run it as a java application uh, it will launch a Tomcat server as it's deployed over the Tomcat server and it will give us a specific port number that is we have configured into our property.xml file here at 081 and this will be our context file. So after running when you see the message Tomcat has started on a specific port number then you just need to create this URL localhost at 081 your port number and the context path and just enter it over your browser uh, chrome browser you can use any browser but we we'll recommend it to use the chrome browser and after that you will see this beautiful welcome page and here uh, we have other option to sign up and uh, login so uh, if you are a new customer you can just enter fill up the details and you can submit the like the form and it will register as a new user so if i check the user table here I refresh the page that newly added data is here as a user so admin uh, now admin will be the fixed user so static user so I am going to log in as an admin and let's see what admin can do and after that we'll see what uh, customer can do in the, after logging so when admin is logged in here admin have a module to add a hotel so if is there any new hotel coming uh, with a system admin can add it so admin just click to add detail, add hotel, enter the hotel name and uh, contact. So just enter a valid contact number and uh, price. It means the price for per room. Is, you can see enter the price per night. So uh, let's suppose 500 and 5000. Okay. City. So suppose I'm going to enter the city in Mumbai and address. We can add some dummy contacts here. As address click on it so hotel detail is added into the database now it will display here and here we have a price and all also as an admin I can edit the record let's suppose I want to change the price and I just update it and see I will update it here as well and I can delete the record if I want after that admin can do uh, like add a new customer admin can view the list of existing customer admin can edit the record admin can delete the record and while you entering the data at any form just enter a valid data because it's using a, 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 all kind of validations like you can't enter the invalid data over there or it's a null value so it's using uh, um, the validations when you fill up this form without filling any field when you hit the add button it will give the name is required last name is required and other fields are required okay the other section for the admin is a booking list so what admin can do admin can check the list of bookings and that is coming from the customers and admin can if admin want to delete any booking admin can delete it uh, also admin can check the list of payment so what a customer is going to pay us and will display to the admin this is a admin of a hotel manager or you can say hotel manager or the admin i just hit the logout button now this time we are going to register as a new user so we have just registered with this user so i am going to register with this customer and let's see what customer can do over there and what customer can check so under the hotels module 
uh, admin will check, customer will see, uh, can check a complete list of hotels and admin also can book any hotel. So recently I did one hotel in the Mumbai as an admin. So I just book it, click the book button. So you can see some of information is automatically coming here. So um, just select the hotel. So it means the hotel will come like the hotel name is aesthetic over there. So just, just, just go to the flow again. So you can see the hotel as name is automatically selected. I just need to enter a number of days. Let's suppose two night and number of person two percent number of room. Let's suppose two room. I mean, I I need one room. Okay, now I just enter the booking date six, and you can see these fields are disabled. And this is the detail of that user who is going to book the uh, hotel. And this is coming from here only. So this is a logged in user. So we are gathering the information from session. After that, I can click on pay and book and I just need to enter my card details and name on the card and the expiry details. So let's suppose I enter some old expiry, some, 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 some uh, expiry in 2026. And the total price is now 8,000 It's showing 8,000. But if you noticed here, we are the price is 4000 so it's calculating the price according to the number of days and number of person uh, and number of days and number of room so it will multiply the data so uh, multiply the per night charges into two days and number of rooms accordingly uh, it's calculate after calculating all the things it is coming as 8000 and it's a disabled like customer cannot change it and then we Hit click on the pay payment is done it's using dummy payment gateway it's not a real-time payment gateway and now if i see my payment history these were the uh, newly registered user who can check the payment history booking history as well hotel list again you can book so this is a good project for the learners or the final year application for a final year project if you are learning a spring boot or if you are preparing for the interview you may have this project to understand the basic core architecture and so how you will get the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp over the mail just give an inquiry we'll share all the price detail and services detail we have multiple services like if you want uh, us to set up the code at your machine we have remote support so our team will connect with you i will do the complete setup at your machine also if you want to learn how the things are developed and how the flow is going so uh, we have the service as well. You can take the live Zoom session where we are going to explain you uh, how these things is working internally, how the code is connected to each other, how we are performing the database connectivity and all. So please connect, uh, give an inquiry. Thank you.